It's almost upon us the total solar eclipse where the moon will block the sun, creating darkness in the middle of the day. Now, just how dark will it get? That'll depend where you're located. The path of totality stretches from Texas all the way up towards Ohio and Maine. So a nice chunk of the United States will achieve totality. What we see here in Colorado is about 60 to 70 percent of coverage. That means the moon is covering 60 to 70 percent of the sun from our perspective. Now, this is what it will look like if you do have the appropriate eyewear and whatnot. We've been tracking the viewing conditions closely and they've only improved. So a few clouds at 1128, that's when the partial eclipse begins. Now our peak coverage here in Denver will be 65% right at 1240, coming to an end then by about 154. That's the timeline. You will be dealing with a few clouds, but this is the coverage that we see. So it's over 50% right at about 65. It'll be quite the sight to see. Now you do need the appropriate eye gear if you do plan to attempt to look directly at the sun. Sunglasses do not cut it. You need to properly protect your eyes. Otherwise, in 20 years, you won't be able to see the next eclipse. Now, here's another idea. If you weren't able to get any of the proper gear, you need a shoebox, tape, paper, scissors, foil, and a pencil. This is very simple to make. What you're gonna start out doing, cut two squares out of the same side of the box. And then you're gonna proceed by adding the tape to the foil, taping that onto one of your holes, and then you can simply poke a hole in there with the tip of a sharpened pencil. So it would be a small circle. Now what you're going to do is then tape white paper on the backside. Therefore, this is your viewing area, if you will. What you then put the box on, the lid, you step outside, you put your back to the sun, hold this up on your shoulder, and what you'll see is a very cool sight. You'll be able to get the sun's beam. This is on a normal day. Now watch as the moon begins to block the shadow, you start to get some cool effects. So this is an idea, another quick option. You're back to the sun, one of the uh, strainers you're gonna hold up and then you're gonna see the little reflection very similar to this. So you do have a few options if you don't necessarily have glasses, but you do need them if you're gonna look. This is again, Monday, April 8th, so it's gonna be quite the sight to get out and enjoy.